A very warm welcome to all of you to another lecture on this series on simulation of communication systems using MATLAB. In the last lecture, we have discussed signal spaces and we have already introduced additive wide Gaussian noise. To quickly recapitulate, additive wide Gaussian noises and signal has flat power spectral intensity and relation that looks like an impulse function and it's an autocorrelation function that looks like an impulse function and Gaussian at each time instant, Gaussian distributed at each time instant. Now at the same time we say that we send a signal st that is given by summation k goes from 1 to n sk psi k t where psi k k goes from k goes from 1 to n forms an orthonormal where psi k t forms an orthonormal basis that is minus infinity to infinity let us take the more general form equals this. This said, add a few more slides here. At the receiver, we receive yt equals st plus wt st is the signal and wt is the additive wide Gaussian noise to this. So, pst and not additive wide Gaussian noise with pst and not. Now, aim of digital communication systems digital communication systems transmit symbols from discrete sets over the channel. They transmit these as vectors and want to retrieve these symbols from the receive signal. So, aim is to so, one process, the general process would be symbol vector in signal space or I would draw a block diagram to express this, the general process of digital communications 
have a symbol vector space which consists of uh, symbols from a discrete set. transmitted signal additive white Gaussian noise received symbols converted back to signal space data data detection. So, this is what we do. So, we try to convert the received signal back into the symbol space. So, we see that ST is SK psi KT and naturally this beast. This is uh, what we know. So, now what do we do with this or want obtain signal space want to obtain the signal space representation of y t. So, for that we say that y t plus s t plus equivalently let us say y k equals t y t plus w t d t. This the first thing we know is S k the second integral let us call this W k this. So, this is 1 this is an integral psi k t over all time. Therefore, k be 1 or this will be 1 value since w t is random w k or w t is a random process w k will also random. So, w k is a random variable. So, uh, we see that w t is white and Gaussian and since an integral seen as a limit of sums. Since an integral can be seen as a limit of sums, w k equals t d t is the sum of a large number of iid 
Gaussian random variables and hence is Gaussian itself. It is the sum of a large possibly infinitely many Gaussian random variables and hence is Gaussian itself 1. So, Wk is a Gaussian random variable. Wk is a Gaussian random variable that is the first thing. Now, since Wk is a Gaussian random variable, it can be fully characterized by its mean and variance and uh, actually cross correlation with other Wk's that we will look at now. So, Wk can be fully characterized each individual Wk be fully characterized its variance. So, expected value of Wk wills this beast equals since integration and uh, expectation are both uh, linear operations I can take this expectation inside and noise is a zero mean process. So, this is 0 mean. So, W k is 0 mean. So, W k if I write here is 0 mean and for variance that means its variance is equal to its mean squared value. This equals expected value of infinity W t psi conjugate t dt mod square and expectation closed this equals value of w t w conjugate u psi conjugate t psi conjugate u dt this beast. Now, let me take this last step, let me copy this last step onto the next slide. So, this is the copy and paste. So, you might be wondering why am I copy pasting this entire thing, I will crop this image out. So, cannot apparently crop this. So, let me take a screenshot instead that will be faster. Simply take this last part of the integral and paste it over here and done. So, this is the integral. So, now let us continue. Letting So, due to the whiteness of noise, this we get N naught T, sorry, this should not be there. Conjugation should be over just one of these, not over both of these. So, conjugation should over be over just one of these. This conjugation should not be there. Psi T dt equals n naught minus infinity to infinity psi t whole square dt equals n naught. So, this has a variance n naught and now 
we want to know the cross correlation between two of these. So, expected value of W k W conjugate L equals double integral or expected value of yes. So, I take the expectation inside. So, what I do here I am taking the expectation inside T T minus tau equals double integral and not delta tau this should be psi t psi conjugate t minus tau dt d tau this equals this so I should do these steps. Now I conjugate T psi L U D T D U double integral again. Okay. k t psi l u d t d u equals and not delta t minus u this can be solved either way psi k t psi l u d t d u equals not psi k t psi l u t t psi l t d t equals delta k minus l n naught so n naught delta k minus l. So, this is n naught delta k minus l which is the variance of or uh, which is the cross correlation among two terms which means that this equals 0 if k not equal to L or if I write W as a vector W1 to Wn then W is or expected value of permission is and not i or in simpler words y equals w where w is this beast fine. So, white Gaussian noise translates into an uncorrelated Gaussian distributed random vector in the symbol space. So, with this idea we will continue to analyze the performance of digital communication systems in the upcoming lectures. So, we stop here and in the next lecture we will look at PAM or pulse amplitude modulation how does that work and how do we simulate it. Thank you.